things can we count to help us get all the way to 30? I brought my counting bears from school. Hmm, I wonder how many are here. Will you guys help me count them? I think I want to count the red ones first. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. That's not 30. Hmm. Let's see. I think next I want to count the green ones. Will you count the green ones with me? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. That's not 30. What if I count the red ones and the green ones together? How many do you think that will be? Let's count them and find out. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's not 30. We better keep going. Hmm, let's see. I'm gonna move these down to make room for our other bears. And you guys can think about what color I should do next. I think I wanna do the yellow bears next. Will you count the yellow bears with me? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, what number do you think I'll get to if I count the red bears, the green bears, and the yellow bears all together? Let's count and find out, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's not 30, we've gotta keep trying. Let's do the purple bears next. You count the purple bears with me? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, five purple bears. Hmm, I wonder how many bears we'll have when we count the red, green, yellow, and purple bears all together. Let's count and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's not 30. We'll have to keep going. Let's do the orange bears next. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. How many bears do we have when we count the red, green, yellow, purple, and orange bears all together? Let's count and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25. That's not 30. We better keep going. Let's add the blue bears. I'm gonna add the blue bears over on this side. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. 
How many bears do you think we're gonna have when we count the blue, red, green, yellow, purple, and orange bears all together? Ready? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty! We did it! We got to 30 bears. Nice job. Let's see, let's think again. What's something we can do 30 of? I know, we can do 30 toe touches, but we'll do them while we're sitting down. So ready? Stretch way, way up high to the sky, and let's touch our toes 30 times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Were you able to do it all 30 times? That's pretty impressive. All right, I'm gonna put the counting bears away. And now it's time for our science experiment. And I know everyone loves to do science. So if you wanna do this experiment with me, you can, you have to ask your moms and dads to help you or you can just watch me do it this time and then you can go and do it later. Either way is fine. So the experiment we are gonna do is, will it sink or will it float? I have my tub of water and I have 10 objects and I have my paper so that we can make our chart. So you don't have to have a big piece of paper like this at home. You can just do it on a regular piece of paper. I just made mine big so that you could see it. If you can't write words yet, don't worry. You can just draw pictures or maybe you have a brother or a sister who can help you write things. But it doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to try your best. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a line down the middle of my chart, just like that. And you can make a line on your piece of paper at home. And on this side of the chart, I'm gonna write float. And it's again, if you don't know how to spell the words, that's okay, just draw a picture. So I think for my picture of something floating, I'm gonna draw some waves to be the water. And then I'll draw an arrow pointing up. So I know that this side means float. And then on this side of my paper, I'm going to write sink. And then for my picture of sink, I'll draw some more waves, some just squiggly blue lines to be the water. 
and then I'll draw an arrow pointing down to show that it sinks. All right, so let's put on our scientist hat. And remember, scientists use their senses to figure things out. You can use your sense of touch with your fingers to feel things, your sense of hearing to listen, your sense of sight to look, your sense of smell, to see how things smell, and your sense of taste. Today, we're just going to be using our sense of sight and our sense of touch. So we'll use our fingers to feel and our eyes to see. All right, the first thing I want to see if it sinks or float is one of our counting bears. Do you think it will sink or do you think it will float? Hmm. Did you make your guess? All right, let's put it in and see what happens. It floats. So I'm going to write bear under float. And if you can't write the words, remember you can always draw a picture. So I'm gonna draw his head and some little bear ears, and then his body and some feet. Maybe he's got a smiley face on, some little hands up here. And that's my bear. He floats. The second thing I want to try to see if it sinks or floats is this stone. This is like what you sometimes put in flower pots to make them pretty, but it's just a piece of glass that looks like a stone. Do you think it will sink or do you think it will float? Let's try and see. That went really fast all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to write that it goes under sink. And I'm just gonna call that a stone. And I'm just going to draw a circle. That's more like an oval, isn't it? Yeah, under the sink. So, so far, we have one under float and one under sink. All right. Hmm. What else do I have in here? I have a grapefruit from my tree in my backyard. I'm going to use my sense of smell for just a minute because it smells really good and I love the way that grapefruit smells. Do you think a grapefruit will sink or float? Hmm, let's try it and see. A grapefruit floats. Can you see it right here, bobbing along the water? So a grapefruit floats. So I'm gonna write grapefruit under float. And for my grapefruit, I'm going to draw a circle and I'll color it in. And I'll just put a little tiny stem on it. And that's my grapefruit. All right, let's see. What do I have next in here? Ooh, I have a magnet. Hmm, do you think the magnet will sink or float? Let's find out. The magnet definitely sunk to the bottom. So I am going to write magnet and you see? Okay. I had to check how to spell the word because I couldn't remember. And then for magnet, I'm just going to draw a little circle and color it in. It sunk. All right. So right now we have two things under float and two things under sink. Hmm. What should I put in next? Ooh, I know. I have a quarter. Do you think the quarter will sink or float? 
Let's find out. Oh, it's sunk. Um, I think I'm gonna like quarter and orange. All right, the quarter is going to go under sink. E. E. See? Even Miss Lauren needs help sometimes. A quarter, and then there's like a face on it. Alrighty, so that's my quarter. Alright, so now we have two under float and three under sink. Hmm, what else do I have in my bucket? <gasps> I have an egg. Do you think an egg will sink or float? Let's try it. An egg floats. Cool. So I'm going to write egg under float. Egg. Let's put that. So now I have three things under float and three things under sink. All right, I'm gonna do two more things. Let's see what I have in my bucket. Oh, I have a train that goes to a game that I like to play. It's just a little train made out of plastic. Do you think it will sink or float? Let's find out. It floats. So I'm going to write train under float. All right, let's see, how can I draw a train? We've got some wheels on the bottom, and then it kind of comes like that, and then there's like the engine piece that comes out, and the smokestack. Um, there's smoke coming out there. Now, nah, that's, it's not the best train, but it doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to try your best. All right, the last thing I'm gonna try is a grape. Do you think a grape will sink or float? Let's try it. Oh, the grape sunk really fast right down to the bottom. So I am going to write grape under sink. is the word sink, not the word grape. And then I'll draw a little grape over here and color him in. That was a mistake. We'll just X it out. All right, let's see. Hmm. How many do I have under float? One, two, three, four. How many do I have under sink? One, two, three, four. So the same amount of objects that sunk and float. Thanks for doing my science experiment with me. If you wanna do this at home, make sure you ask your moms and dads if it's okay first. And then you can take a picture and send it to me. Thanks for doing some numbers and counting and science with me today. Bye, see you later.